Jordan here from Iron and Grit, and today I'm going to show you how to execute the guillotine press, also called, also called the bench press, to the neck. This is a really popular old school exercise. It's awesome for blowing up the chest, working the upper chest, and really isolating the chest muscles. Uh, you don't need a lot of weight for this. As you can see, I've only got 10 pounds on each side. A lot of times, I'll just use the bar and that's really all it takes as long as you execute it properly. So what I'm going to do is lay down flat on the bench. I'm going to lift my legs up, make sure the weight and everything is balanced and my back is nice and stable as I'm doing the pressing motion. And I'm going to grab a little bit wider grip than I would for a normal chest press. And I'm going to, instead of dropping the bar about the nipple level, as I would with a regular chest press, I'm going to literally bring it up to my clavicle right here, and we're going to do about, I don't know, 10 to 12 reps, and I'll show you how it's done right now. Stretch out a little bit. Get the chest really ready for what is about to come. Go ahead and take your grip. Make sure it's even. Make sure your shoulder blades are nice and locked in. Remove the bar and nice and slow while keeping the tension on the chest and bringing the bar right down to the clavicle. And then squeeze the chest muscles and imagine bringing the elbows together. And then straight down just like that. You want to make sure that your forearms are perpendicular to the floor as best as you can. Almost lock out your elbows at the top. Lower it nice and easy, nice and even to the bottom, keeping the tension on the chest that whole time. Taking nice, big, deep breaths in every time with every rep. Sucking the gut to expand the rib cage even more. Two seconds down. Hold it for two seconds. Two seconds back up. One, two. Hold for two seconds. Top contraction. Lower, two seconds. Hold at the bottom for two seconds. Press back up for two seconds. Then go ahead and rack it out. And even with that small amount of weight, I can still feel my chest muscles pumping up just from that tiny little set. So it doesn't take a lot of weight. Really take your time. It's really about the time under tension more than it is how many reps you get or how many sets you get or how, many, how much weight you're doing. So take your time with it. I usually shoot for about three sets of 10 to 12 reps at the end of my workout to really burn out my muscles. And uh, it's kind of like the cherry on top of a good chest workout. So try that out. Go very light and very slow at first. Use a spotter and be really careful, especially if you don't have the right shoulder flexibility. You don't want to tear up anything in your shoulders or shoulder joints. So really take your time, go light, do it the right way. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If this video was helpful, leave me a like. And if you are into more fitness tips, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And uh, I've got more good stuff to come your way. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.